in this lesson we will see what is conditional formatting in a table with that we will also implement it in power bi so this is a feature that applies specific formatting based on the values or conditions of your data like you can easily format specific columns set icons for records you can set different font color text color and background color for each column with that you can also highlight key trends specific data points so that when your table would be set in a report the context is more insightful and visually appealing so let us see so now we will see how to set a color on a table column with conditional formatting with that we will also set an icon on a table column so let us see the examples okay so here was a table we created a table now first i'll click here and uh, go to format your visual style presets and i'll set none okay now we have our basic table here without any proper formatting so i'll just click a table again go to format your visual column headers i'll just set it to let's say black color okay and text color to white so now what we'll do we will do the conditional formatting okay for that first we will set the background color for the column values select the table after that what you need to do you need to go to let's say any of the column sum of sales i'll click the arrow you can see the arrow click on it then go to conditional formatting and click background color now a new section would be visible background color sum of sales okay now we will set the color for the maximum value that is for the maximum sales for that here in field sum of sales by default selected summarization is sum by default here minimum is for the lowest value and maximum for the highest value keep the default and click okay now okay so this color would be visible for the highest values and this for the lowest value i'll click okay now here you can see the sum of sales is visible and you can see the color i told you for the highest value the color would be the darkest okay and it will go down when the values go down the minimum one would be what the lightest one would be for the lowest value that means 923 so as i told the darkest color means the highest value whereas the lightest one represents the lowest value okay so this is how we can set conditional formatting i'll just uh, sort it after that the things would be more clear now here you can see the color the highest one and the lightest one based on the value so this is how you can set the conditional formatting so here i have sort using the descending value when i'll click here again it would be according to the ascending value so the minimum on the top and the darkest in the bottom so in this way guys we can easily set colors with conditional formatting now let us see how we can set the icons okay let me sort it according to let's say sum of profit i'll click here now it looks fine now let us set icons also click on the table under the columns click the sum of profit here it is click the arrow now go to conditional formatting here in icons are visible click on it and now again the section is visible let's say i want to set a, a specific one for sum of profits by default the styles are visible for the arrows so here i'll just click and select arrows okay now let's see what will happen later on we will understand this okay now you can see 
on the basis of sum of profit the values are visible the up arrow means the highest value whereas the down arrow means the lowest value since we have sorted it therefore the following is visible now let us sort it i'll click here and you can see now the category with the least sum of profit is on the top and the maximum in the bottom i'll change it again and uh, you can see the copier category the accessories category are having more profit than the lower ones so in this way guys we can easily use conditional formatting to set an icon so you can easily set it like this i'll click here again and uh, i'll go to sum of profits and uh, click conditional formatting then i'll click your icons so here was the exact thing if the value is greater than 0 and less than 20% the below arrow would be visible in this way the upper value would be visible for these values 80 to 100 the middle one for 40 to 60 so this is how things were working you can also change the style from here more changes you can do click okay and here it was visible so guys we saw how we can use conditional formatting okay we have easily set different colors for for a column based on records we have also set an icon to display like this thank you for watching the video